So, welcome guys uh, to another episode on the Extra Mile. Uh, my name is Alex and today I thought uh, we would try the Ebola Drome from the Grand Tour, which has been lovely recreated uh, from a great modder. I will share the link in the description. And he already released, I think, three updates uh, since uh, the initial release, which was just about ten days ago or nine days ago. So he's very active in improving his work, which I love. And um, what initially drove me to try this today is because uh, we have seen some lap times on the Grand Tour. Um, these lap times. And um, those of you who own a Seto Corsa will uh, recognize a few cars on that list. Um, four cars actually. This Porsche, the Boxster S, uh, the 911, the G GTR and the Audi. And we kind of have a McLaren 650S. We have the predecessor uh, of that car. Um, but um, the four cars which should be roughly the same, the two Porsches, uh, the Nissan and the Audi, um, those are the cars that uh, I would like to try here today and see how close we can get to the lap times um, and how the lap times differ between the cars here in a set of Corsa and how it is in real life. So I think this could be quite interesting and we could show off this lovely new track as well. Um, yeah, let's start with the Boxster. So, here we are in the Boxster. I chose the manual version, of course. It might be a tad slower around the track, but I don't really give a damn, to be honest. And, wow, it looks... It looks amazing. It looks very, very real. Can't wait to have my hands in VR so I can touch things and push buttons and stuff. Anyway, um, let's go! So this is the Isen Strait and we have another right-hander here. I don't know why it says that I'm ooh, driving the wrong way. I hope I'm not. Oh sh shit, I'm so happy those trees aren't real. So we drive here and we get to your name here the drift corner <laughs> okay back on the isn't straight left hander here and another one Ooh, here Now we get to the old lady's house, which is here. Hello there, old lady. And on to the bumpy back straight. 90 degree left turn. And another one of those. And through the finish line. Okay. Okay. Let's do this.
All right, so let's see what the American did on the real show. We have that here, I think. <laughs> and that was the 1 minute 23 seconds point four lap. And now let's see what we did here. So, 1 minute 23.0. That's actually quite interesting. Um, because I did uh, drive this on... Uh, with optimum settings, so the track is really grippy. Um, and if we would reduce that a little bit to account for the bumpy section, and maybe the track is not as grippy in real life, so well, then we would be pretty much spot on. Okay, next up, the Carrera. So here we are in the lovely Carrera. Let's. Um <laughs> Give this a shot. Oh, um, before we start, I do have um, reduced the track grippiness from optimum to what was it? I don't know. Whatever the next lower one is. So to see if we can get a little bit closer to the times of the American. Okay, here we go. let's see so here we have the time of the Carrera which was 121.4 now let's see what ah no that is a mistake the last lap wow it's pretty much dead on I don't know where this is coming from ah I see that's the practice lap where we fly through the uh, start line so of course that doesn't count but uh, the last one here with a standing start the American <laughs> did 1 minute 21.4 and this was 1 minute 21.3 this was the first flying lap with this car I'm not making this up I'm not planning this seriously that's pretty amazing um, again this was uh, not the optimum setting for the track uh, track grippiness or whatever you want to call it but the one below that so that seems to be somewhat right maybe it's still a little bit too grippy actually so we will try to notch it down even more for the next car which is the GTR so stay tuned come on
Come on. Okay, let's see where we are with the lap time. Here we have uh, here we have the lap time from uh, the American, which was here we have the lap time from the American, which was one minute twenty one point two. Not that much quicker than the Carrera S, which is weird. And this one was wow, one minute nineteen which is two seconds faster. Well, this is the Nismo version of the GTR, which has a little bit more horsepower, different suspension, I think. This could account for that, but that's quite a big difference. Okay, anyway, um, let's see what the R8 V10 Plus has in order for us, because that is the exact same car that we have in the set of course now. So, let's drive that one. Okay, so, let's do this. time from the American which was 1 minute 19.2 if I remember correctly and here is whoa 121.9 that is surprising Ooh, that is pretty much what the GTR should have been doing <laughs> okay this is weird I will do one more lap to see if the semi slick tires that are available here in Assetto Corsa as the stock tires um, are closer to the target lap time. So, here we are back at the start line with uh, semi-slicks. Semi um, I think that should get us in the right direction, so let's see. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> We've got the corner there a little bit, but I don't think it mattered too much. Um, all right, one minute's 19.2 to beat, and we did a... Wow. One minute's 19.2. Okay, so to clarify what just happened, I switched the tires to the available street tires in the setup menu. Um, I first drove with these tires because I thought they would be closer to what they drove on the real track, but I suppose this is maybe a generic street tire compound that you can choose for this car, and this is maybe the Pirelli P0 or whatever that uh, comes on this car. So, 1 minutes 19.2, there you have it. That was with uh, green track settings and is exactly the same time <laughs> as uh, the American drove in the show. That's pretty cool. So, there we are guys, that was the Ebola Drome episode uh, with uh, some pretty interesting resu results, I think. I don't really know what happened with the GTR, I suppose it's a tire issue as well. Um, the tires that were available here in Assetto Corsa were labeled Hypercar Road, so maybe the Nismo version has a different tire set than the uh, GTR that they drove. But, um, the three other cars were pretty much spot on. Um, which is pretty incredible actually. Hats, my head is off to the motor to who did this track, uh, which is obviously pretty accurate. And uh, this track, by the way, is, is a lot of fun. Um, it, take the uh, uh, Grand Tour matter aside, just as a driving experience, this is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.